Cha cha cha. Welcome to the channel, guys. Dale Chanel's 40s world. We still in the messy. We we on land though. We ain't we in the right now. <coughs> I haven't found me a car to ride in yet, so until I can find me a nice car that I can be cruising in the street talking to y'all about. So we don't have to always meet in the house, you know what I'm saying? I can just be talking to y'all on the speakerphone while I'm cruising down, you know, the highway. But we got to get into this, this, uh, ooh, child, three women fighting over one position. I can't tell you. I can't tell you how funny this, this shit is. I'm like, everybody wants to be in position. But no, nobody want to play chief. I mean, everybody want to be the chief. And we don't want to have no Indians running around here. Now, what's going on with that? Child, we got Le Leo Remini mad at Sherry Shepard because they offered Sherry Shepard the gig. And somebody lied to Leo Remy saying she was going to be the head person to get the job if Wendy decided not to come back. Somebody had put batteries in her backpack like she was a toy honey. Fed her a bunch of lion soup, okay? Not Campbell noodle soup, okay? Alphabet soup, but some lion soup, okay? Child, they told her she come on over and do her thing. And if the audience like her, you know, she, she's a shoe in for the position. They pretty much catered to her getting that position. But lo and behold, y'all see what's written out on them, um, them headlines in social media world. Y'all see what name flashing on them screens, on y'all television screens, on y'all phones, on y'all television stations. It's Sholane Leah. And she's pissed, man. She having so many cuss words come out of her mouth. She is too fit to be tired because she just knew she was the ultimate girl that would take and replace Wendy Williams. Well, honey, somebody lied to you, girl. And she's over there at Productions wanting to have a meeting, want to get this thing taken care of. I'm like, girl, Leah, didn't nobody want you, baby. You are not ratchet. You can't make us laugh at the drop of a dime. What I need you to go do is drop some stories on that Scientology. Tell us what's really going on behind them closed doors. Is people missing? If they don't want to walk the walk or talk the talk, is somebody making them walk the plank, girl? Cause one, then one of your friends just disappear after fooling around in that religion. Tell us the tea. That's what you need to do. You need to be an inside reporter. I know you wanted your talk show, but it wasn't going to be like what the people wanted from Wendy Williams. Honey, that's a gossip place. That's where you have to get down and dirty and you have to speak your truth on shit that's allegedly out there. But you're going to make it like it's yours, okay? Now, you know where nobody laughing at you. And I'm like, where is John Rivers when you need her? I don't care about what nobody said. I like John Rivers. <laughs> she spoke her mind, honey. She don't care if you were Asian, black, Eskimo. Um, let me see. What, what other cultures we got there? African, uh, Italian. She didn't give a shit. Whatever came to her mind, she just spoke it like it was. Now, I know if she was still living, she would have something to say about Wendy Williams, Sherry Shepard, and Leah Remini. Okay, that's just some, who she is, honey. Look at them boss glasses. I don't know if those, what, what, you know, what kind of glass y'all like them was? Gucci? But anyway, honey, I like, where is Joan Rivers when <laughs> you need her? Okay, because this is a big ass mess around him. We got two black women. On one white woman. Okay. I, I'm like, what the hell is going on? Sherry Shepard showed out. and Well, she showed up and showed out. Okay. And one thing that Sherry does have is that likability. And she, she makes you laugh because she's a comedian at heart. And she's an actress. I mean, you if you look at her resume of different bodies of work she's done in the business, she would be a perfect fit. She know how to talk about people without actually making them mad at her. See, Wendy just went on and dished it out. And she don't work herself in such a frenzy. Her health is poor. She got this shit going on with Wells Fargo. She can't get a hold of her money. She don't like nobody taking her place, especially when she's been running it forever. You know what I'm saying? When she left, she didn't leave on bad terms. She left on medical reasons, okay? 
And she was already going, I, I think she was coming from the hinges when she was dressing up that Halloween. She was in the Statue of Liberty and she fell all out looking like she saw death coming. But she didn't know it was going to come that quick, that far, that fast. And she just fell the hell out. <laughs> and then she tried to come back with some kind of crazy story. But we knew she wasn't well. Okay. And then she got this mess with. It well, was Fargo locking up her money like it's Fort Knox, like it's uh, Alcatraz or something like that. Like, what? Yeah, give that woman her damn money, you know what I'm saying? And technically, I can't believe that she has all her money in Wells Fargo. Because it was me. I don't think they can, uh, the FDIC uh, can't insure nothing but 25, what is it, $250,000 uh, per person. Whatever. So it's, it's like, okay, baby, you, you didn't think about a Bank of America? You didn't think about SunTrust? Hell, yes, who else we got out there? BB and T or something like that? Or have some credit unions. Put your money, spread your money around, baby girl. But evidently, most of her, uh, I guess, cash assets, or uh, well, cash, basically, uh, they at Wells Fargo, and they like some disgruntled person that was watching over uh, Wendy Williams' account. I guess Wendy allegedly what they're saying she fired her so she gonna be disgruntled and, and, and make her, her what do you call it <laughs> she gonna make herself known even after they got her fired or she when they fired her but she was gonna make her stamp or put her stamp in the mess that she was gonna leave for wendy williams so wendy will ever forever keep her name in wendy's mouth as well as on her thoughts, cause that, that one was something else. I would look for her and, and and do me a lawsuit on her ass too. Okay, not just Wells Fargo, but get her ass too, since she signed the documents or said something that made Wendy's account get locked up the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Cause she definitely need her food, shelter, and clothing and her medication. Okay, who be? But child, them, them, Lemmy, Leah, Remy, and Sherry Shepard. Sharon probably don't give two shits of a shat's, a shat's tail, okay? Or a rat's tail. Two shits of a rat's tail, how my mom used to say it back in the day. Two shits of a rat's tail, okay? She don't give a fuck about um, uh, what uh, Leah Rim is saying. She don't sign her ink deal. Now they're just trying to push the paperwork through. Because I'm pretty sure Sherry has already signed on that dotted line. And I really hope, I really, really hope and pray that she definitely got herself secured. Because if Wendy gets out the sickness ward or whatever she's in and she comes back, then what is that going to do? Uh, you know, what's, where is Sherry going to go? Because I'm pretty sure she... May have had other opportunities, not as lucrative as this one, but she may have had herself attached to some other business opportunities that she's letting go on the uh, word of Wendy is still not 100% where she can come in and tape with a live studio audience. She's still not at that peak yet so i'm like honey get your money girl get your money whether when to come or uh stay get your money irregardless and if they can pay you like that hell let this shit ride let leo ha have it but evidently they must have agreed or negotiated something to that effect because i know sherry ain't no stupid woman you know what i'm saying not when she got to pay two husbands i think it's two husbands one of them had got her in a baby situation i believe but anyway, um, yeah, she got to pay um, alimony, I do believe. So fact checkers in my um, um, in my family, y'all look that up if y'all want if y'all care anything about it. it. Ain't really too important. I just thought I'd throw it out there, okay? Allegedly speaking, but yeah, it's just too much. Like Aunt Bertha say, this shit is just getting too crazy. I'm like, damn, we got Wendy fighting against her health and and trying to get things together with that and she got kevin out there her ex-husband he need to get paid she still want to hit him upside his head or down in his private area uh because he stood up there and messed around on her uh had an affair and had a, a child at that okay i mean she's somebody i guess it would be still mom guys i think so well anyway um she ain't too happy she don't want to be that either but it's just the fact that she got so much on her plate and then she got her 
place of employment trying to really replace her or really try to push the ball so heavy on her that it would nudge her to get her butt back into the studio. But when it's playing hardball too, she said, I ain't coming back till I get ready to come back. And to me, I think she's just weighing her time out or waiting her time out until September come. Then the contract is in a sense paid up. Noel and Boyd, she can do whatever she want to do. But honey, I hear she she mad. She ain't, she really didn't care for uh, Leah or Shara. She had nobody taking her place. But as we know, when is getting older, and she needs to be sitting there figuring out what she wants to do with the rest of her life. Like I said, people in the entertainment business, they don't never retire. And I like people hard working, people such as myself and people that's in my situation. Damn sure we're gonna go to retirement. We're gonna be retired at 62, 65, 67. I plan on getting out that door at 62. Now I don't have a hard job or anything. And I probably could last a little longer. But you know, life is not promised to us. I can be here today, gone tomorrow. So I'm gonna exercise my due diligence and make sure I get out that door at 62. You know, unless I ain't doing nothing but sitting up there talking, you know. <laughs> I mean, I ain't really doing no hard work now. Uh, and that's because I went and educated myself in college and stuff of that nature. So I paid the price to be the boss in certain areas. Which, uh, entertainers in the industry, they don't retire. They always doing something out there. Even when they can be damn near 90, 100 years old, they still out there. Look at the eyes of brothers. They can't. Probably got dementia and shit. Can't remember half their lyrics. And uh, poor man probably can't even uh, remember the, the notes to be stringing a uh, guitar. Even though he's still playing pretty fierce. But we know Ron I should be forgetting them notes sometimes. But just to even look at him now. You think he's that brother done drunk from the fountain of youth or something. Like he looking good. He make me want to date somebody old. If they look like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Oh, I know y'all know what I'm saying. But yeah, Leah, Leah honey, we ain't stand you trying to be on no Wendy Williams show talking about how you doing or you get your little catchphrase. Uh-uh, honey, you're boring. You need to be on The View or, hell, you could be on The Real if you want to, but you need to be on something else that matches your personality, your attitude, and your whole persona. Because Wendy Williams, mm -mm, I watched you a couple of times and I was like, snooze fest okay i'm like can you give me some jersey because i think she was a part of that sitcom show kings and queens and really she didn't really i, I didn't too much care for her on that show i liked her husband better because he made me laugh and see like i said I, uh leah's not a comedian you know she's not like a joan rivers joan rivers have you laughing up there too her old behind <laughs> when she would when she would live child please you gotta be likable and you gotta have a sense of humor and to me that's something leah doesn't have that she can just on the spot call it to attention and people just you know fall out about it and she don't look like she could gossip real well about a person and make it funny you know what i'm saying because all of it what they be talking about is allegedly too they don't know it's just a story out there on this particular celebrity and it's salacious and you just sit in a forum of people and want to discuss it you give your opinion such as what wendy does and then she even asks the studio audience audience what do they think about it you know what i'm saying are the clips that she's showing them the visuals and she's having the conversation with them her studio audience so that's basically what youtubers and bloggers do that, you know unless they're wanting those uh real hard-hitting journalist type of uh youtuber and they want to be in this business where they can actually have someone give them their own show or station or podcast that they're paying for and they have all the luxuries and stuff the perks that go along with it but no this is a side hustle for me honey mm -mm, can't put me on tv because i'll be like uh can i say this can i say that and by the time they keep saying what i can and cannot say i said fuck it i'm gone <laughs> I ain't got time because I, I, I can have a five off sometimes depending on what I'm talking about and I'm upset about it or if it's just hilariously funny I might have to you know say here and there but excuse me when y'all feel like when I see when I come across and I'm cussing y'all don't like it just just t tune me out put me on mute and then put me back up because I don't really repeatedly repeatedly be cussing you know what I'm saying just only when I got a um 
a crazy way of explaining something or I'm mad about something. And then I, you know, I may, you, you may hear some cuss words here and there. But child, this is going into the story. Everybody had, it seemed like, good reputable um, uh, sources to cite information from. But I just chose to do the Jasmine brand because I think Page Six had it. Kempire had it. Um... Uh, probably some more i just didn't really look it up it just came across my um social media feed i'm like okay i like the jasmine brand so y'all make sure y'all go out and check her out uh see if y'all like her content tell her i sent y'all over there for those who want to go over there and participate okay but um somebody named Rajini aroya or something like that i may have told up that child's whole name but um just go under jazz the jasmine brand newsletter she also has a newsletter a little magazine that y'all can partake of of gossip celebrity news and stuff of that nature but she titles it wendy williams doesn't approve of sherry shepherd replacing her and leah remini remini allegedly is pissed that sherry was offered a job behind her back i said baby <laughs> honey sherry didn't take them from you and i'm pretty sure they didn't offer it to her unless they knew she could carry the torch not saying she's going to replace um wendy but she's going to carry it in her own fashion because uh even um wendy was not a comedian so that's like two um uh, two well we call it two good things that's going to have her hopefully solidify herself if she's going to be able to survive the first three years three or four years uh because I, th- I know she's going to be funny but you know like i said i don't too m- i didn't follow wendy that much but when i did when she had a certain uh celebrity that she was talking about or doing a certain piece on i would tune in but you know she just had the gift of gab and she was in radio personality she was a radio personality host uh early on in her career so that would really solidify herself into creating what she has established for us to wendy williams show and like i said sherry shepherd has a long resume as well plus she's a comedian she's been on different sitcoms i don't know if y'all remember the jamie fox show she was on there with uh fancy which was um what's name gabrielle duvet or duval or something like that um and um you know she was just funny she was funny then she was funny now and i could see them um you know choosing her not just because she's likable but she is down to earth and she can make you laugh and that's what you know her signature style is going to be created from hopefully she won't be doing that how you doing and sending a purple cheer because then she's totally taking on something that we already knew belonged to wendy williams because that was her motif okay uh her accessories she's bringing um to uh accentuate her attributes for the show so she's gonna have to work you know hard i don't know what her set is gonna look like or whatnot but you know i'm gonna go over there and check her out see what she got going on but you know hopefully she'll last within a year and um you know because most shows don't work out talk shows uh hosts because even queen latifah she was on her show one time being interviewed and we see how long queen latifah stayed in the game you know so it's just i don't know what's the whole magic thing about talk shows and people relating to you far as the viewers and how far you can go because you know it's here or there here or there you know here or miss or whatnot but going into the um article that was written it says uh wendy williams doesn't approve of her show's new host well wendy look at you baby you're in a wheelchair you're walking with no shoes on your feet well fire go up your ass you know won't give you your money for your food shelter and clothing i mean you got a lot on your back instead of be trying to say you uh you want to come back but you ain't in no good medical health to do so i mean you think they're just gonna sit and wait on you no ma'am no sir no law no god that's just not how the cookie crumbles okay so wendy you you know either you're gonna come back and be half looking sick up there or whatever falling out until they say no you can't do it no more we're gonna make the executive decision and say we're gonna pull the plug and let somebody else uh like sherry shepherd guest host until we can get to that end of the mark for that season and then we're gonna just hope tear your show up put it to rest 
tie it up in a bow and deliver it to you. But we're going to move on. You know what I'm saying? And it's best for everybody. You need the rest. You need the time. You need to reflect on what you want to do after this point. Sherry is ready to take that torch on to another talk show host named whatever it may uh, be named. And we're going to follow her and see how successful she can be. And that's just the way it is. And Wendy knows that she's just fighting. Just like some people fight old age. Wendy is fighting to, uh, from being replaced on a show that she helped develop. And she definitely has gotten a lot of uh, revenue from as well as followers. Uh, so it's going to be a big transition for her. But it's better made now while she's off her feet. And she's having a lot of time to reflect and trying to get well I'm hoping. And she's going to see it's best. It's best for her, her health, her mentality. Because she's done it for a long time. I mean, she can probably tape a, a whole episode in her sleep. You know what I'm saying? Because um, so, it's not that hard. But you just have to have that type of personality to be able to sit and be seen for so you know many times. And still keep that same uh, strong, likable force within yourself so it can project out to your audience and to your staff members uh and whoever you're interviewing at the time but going back to the article it says beloved tv personality wendy williams is reportedly unhappy with sherry shepherd replacing her on the wendy williams show according to radar so see radar uh dot com had it as well uh, she's been ignoring the producers. All of their text messages have been left unread. Wendy's crew has also tried to get in touch with her. Um, the host via phone and email, however, they've been unable to reach her. And I'm like, didn't Wendy tell you how to go through Bernie? Bernie is her lifesaver. Bernie is her lifeline, honey. <clears throat> if you can't get in touch with Bernie, you're definitely not going to get in touch with Wendy. So I don't know where Bernie and what he's doing uh, during this whole time of a, a nasty spill with uh, Wendy, seeing what's going out on the social media realm world, and then what's happening, because I know somebody has to be talking to her and telling her the comments and goings on what the job is feeling like and looking like. So Wendy's feeling herself over there for a moment and not for the, the positive way. But going back to the article, it says reports say that Wendy's totally disapproves of the sudden switch, a source claim. They're saying Sherry does not have Wendy's blessing and all of this is all being done without her involvement. And I thought one time ago when Sherry did come on the show as a guest host, uh, filling in, that she said she had Wendy's blessing to continue to rock the show out and this, that, and the third. Maybe I'm wrong, but Wendy's upset about that and she don't give nobody her blessing, especially not Sherry Shepard, to step in and, and step over and move on with the show. <clears throat> then another source said Wendy is extremely jealous and can't stand people filling in for her as as it is. It has really hurt her seeing her own fans give Sherry glowing reviews in her absence. But I'm like, Wendy, what, what are you talking about, baby? It's almost like it's your death. Not death of you, but death of your show. And you're recur recarnating into some other entity or it's just it's, it's had its run you know it's just like we look at a tv show like say the andy griffin show i grew up on that show that's all we watched because it wasn't a lot of black entertainers out there like the jeffersons or good times and stuff like that at that time when i was growing up as a child and i'm talking about my early uh primary years like say when i was in elementary school up to maybe 12 years old okay these are the kind of shows i had to look at and even they had their time. It's, like, it's only so much you can cover in the storyline. Or so many people growing up. Uh, or, or moving away. Or somebody's getting married. You know, it's only so many plots you can put in a setting for a scene. That it has to end sometime, somewhere, somehow. Okay? <clears throat> uh, so, Winnie just need to get over that situation. Saying her fans or you know take they're not doing that Wendy they're not abandoning you it's just you're not here they're still wishing you well but you got a lot of issues going on medical issues financial issues and then personal issues so you need to sit this on out honey and let it play out and you still get your rest if you can and then another source said production has been very cautious not to upset Wendy's extremely loyal fan base so they're calling Sherry 54 a permanent guest host but basically it is now sherry's show 
And like I said, a lot of my YouTube um, buddies and correspondents, they basically are saying the same thing that I always said. It could just be a money ploy or a money push to nudge her to say, you know, yeah, this train is riding with you, but it ain't going to ride uh, alone solo for too long. So you need to either come back, uh, fight the weather, fight your pain. How do I to say fight through your pain and get on back in this job like they tell us? Um it still may be a situation like that. So when they need to either buck up and get on back in there or just, you know, just reside where she is, resign herself to knowing that this is the end of the road for her. She might have didn't anticipate it being this way, but none of us really do. We have a sought out plan and we try to prepare for the worst and be prepared for the best situations. But sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. You can uh, save your whole life and wait till you turn 65 to retire and everything's going to be lovely. But in that time towards your retirement, you may could have had several deaths. You could have uh, lost your job. You went bankrupt. So you may have a serious illness that wiped out your uh, savings account. So anything can happen. That's why you should just live, you know, each day as it comes. Plan and hope and pray for things for the future. But always try to live your life one day at a time. Uh, and that's just my golden nugget to you all. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, As production staff rearranges the set for the Sherry Shepherd show, Leah Remy has also allegedly expressed that she doesn't like the change. Leah, who was one of my uh, many guest hosts, was reportedly unaware of Sherry's promotion or source told Radar. Leah assumed this was her gig. If she wanted it, she hasn't been uh, filling in for Wendy's uh, for her own hell. She has been auditioning to get her own show. And is pissed that Sherry Shepard has been offered the job behind her back. Okay, although a journalist previously denied the rumors, reports confirm that fan favorite Sherry Shepard will become a permanent guest host. The ink on the former daytime co-host contract is almost dry, and she could start her new gig in September. Her contract reported states that if Wendy Williams' health improves, the media veteran will return to her purple chair. Wendy Williams has hosted an episode of the Wendy Williams Show since um, July of 2021. Oh, she hasn't hosted. Okay. Her uh, production crew allegedly feels that the onset of her mysterious illness marked the end of the show. So, basically, what are your thoughts, uh, fam, on Sherry Shepard getting all these haters out here on her ass? And she ain't even sat in her chair or her table or her uh sofa or whatever she's gonna entertain us with her how her set is gonna evolve she already got p i'm like hell yeah this is too much man she already got a target on her back she got wind and i giving her her accolades her flowers now and her congratulations she mad at herself and the world and then um little little remy over here you know, talking about that's her show. She was uh positioning for or or auditioning to have that position as a talk show host. <laughs> I'm like, what what was it gonna be called, Leah? The Leah Remy Show girl or Remy Show? What were you gonna be giving the people? What was you gonna be serving up on your uh talk show, honey? That was gonna keep the interest of everybody. Okay, because even Ellen had to like have some likability. She her whole thing. Well, her prop was dancing, liking black music and just dancing. And everybody started liking her. And then again, Ellen is a comedian. So, it's like all the late talk show hosts pretty much are comedians. So, Leah, where were you coming with all this? Because I told you your job was to go find out what's going on behind them closed doors because something scared your behind because you left the Scientology world. Now, what's really going on over there, girl? It's the X-File type situation. Girl, it's, that's where the Illuminati hang out at. Girl, drop some tea. So, you really, if you want to expose some stuff like that and you have a network that's willing to work with your girl and put it as non-fictional so it can get by. Well, no, I'm not non-fictional, but fictional because that's the fake, even though the fake could be the truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Disguised up in a little bow. Just you have to be smart enough to see and to hear, okay, and be knowledgeable. So, I don't know what you're fussing about, Leo, but it's, it's a closed case, baby. They don't like you. They don't want you in that form. 
you're not messy, you're not a gossip queen, and you don't know how to spill the tea. I hate to say it to you, baby girl. All right, but it is what it is. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Make sure you tune in when I drop my video so you can be first or one of the first people to, you know, be able to look at it and tell me what you thought about it. Or put your feelings down about subject matter, not me, because y'all should know me by now. <laughs> Woo! Miss Deb gonna speak her mind regardless if you like it, love it, or you don't. I'm still gonna be up here talking shit. All right, with my fam, and I want my fam to come talk and shit with me too, but not about me, but about the subject that at hand what we discussing. All right, y'all get down in the comments, y'all let me know, cause we being messy tonight. I don't tape two other uh, videos, and I'm just being messy, messy, messy. But uh, like I said, it's just, it's just talk. We don't care we, one way or the other, cause you people still gonna live their life, and I'm gonna still live mine. It's just we got opinions, and we want to share them sometime. Okay, not that we getting people business, cause we tell you the truth, nobody have no business. When you're in the limelight doing crazy shit, whether you're getting paid to do it or you're just doing it just because, you can be talked about. Okay, you can be talked about too. All right, but that's all I got for this video, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye.